Hey, it's really, uh, it's really difficult to come to Cuba at this time, September 2019. Um, we literally had to do nothing. Uh, so a lot of people ask us, can you come, come to Cuba right now? And uh, hell yeah, you can go to Cuba. We've been here for a couple weeks. And uh, Lexi, my daughter's godfather, is Cuban. He's a baseball player. We played together a couple of years ago. So he's one of my good friends. and We're here. Cost $75 for the pink tourist card that you can buy in Fort Lauderdale. Or... Uh, You can, I think you can buy in advance for like 50 bucks, which we, uh, we could have done, but we were lazy. We flew from Spokane to Austin, and then we stayed a week in Austin. Then Austin, Fort Lauderdale to Cuba, really easy flights, super cheap, free baggage with Southwest. And we, uh, we've been here a couple weeks, we'll stay for three, then we'll go to Columbia for, uh, we'll go to Columbia for a, a month, and then to Peru. I'm not sure where after that. Hey. Um, yeah, we had no difficulties coming here. The only people who really were curious why we were coming here was the United States. But we didn't even we didn't even talk to an official about it. We didn't even talk to an official about it though. We uh we just had to do something for Southwest. They put in the system where we're going, and they noted that we're going to Columbia afterwards. So you just have to have an onward flight. And uh, what else? We didn't need any shots. We didn't need proof of anything. And Lexi's passport. Um, you know, just make make sure you have a, a valid, you know, passport with six months of. Um, ex, it's it's not six months from expiring. Hey, don't poke the dog. Don't poke Oprah. Hey, leave her alone. So, six months of uh, really nothing. They, and then once we got to Havana, when you get to the airport, I mean, it's kind of like flying into Mexico in the 80s, kind of a dark, damp airport. Um, but, I mean, people were kind. They don't speak any English, but they didn't care why we were coming. Want to go see the piggies? They didn't, they didn't care why we were coming. Um, they just smiled. And go through the immigration, go separately. So unless you have your kid, uh, even a married couple, each person goes separately. Look, Lex, see the piggies? I don't know if we can see them. No, I don't know if we can see them. Um, other than that, once you get to Havana, you get to find taxis. And if you're if you're going to like Mantensis or Havana, I think to Havana, it's going to be like 25 kook, you know, a, a Cuban convertible. Uh, it's like twenty five. It's like twenty five dollars. But um, what I did is I bought just enough euros. Look, this is what we call a tree rat. A tree rat. So people people will actually eat those things. Um, but yeah, you you I bought. The, the euro in the United States, um, not a lot, but just enough to get by like a week. Um, and then once, uh, because when you exchange U.S. dollar, they'll give you a 10% fee just because of the embargo. They'll, they'll give you a 10% penalty. So you use the euro. Um, and then you when you're here, just buy, uh, buy and sell your dollars with local people. A lot of people go to Mexico and Haiti to buy things to bring here. So just find people. I think I did 300, 300 US with um, one of my friend's brothers, and it was easy. And a lot of people want US dollars because um, they do a you know foreign when they go foreign uh, to Mexico, Haiti, or uh, even like Russia, they'll use a US dollar. So um, that was really easy. Or if you want better rates when you're at uh, the airport, just find people who are leaving that have kook the the cuban uh, cuban convertible and find them and buy it from them in line just trade them it'll save you time because things go super slow you trying to get the chickens so yeah it's really simple you're going to find how safe it is here people are kind uh 
really not a whole lot of public transportation and a lot of it's separate where we can't the gringos can't ride it we can't ride with the cubans ride so you know if you have a friend here or people they'll help you they'll kind of help you navigate how to get taxis or um things like that and we met a guy who had a rental car he got two weeks for um eight hundred dollars and then there was a 250 dollar fee so he paid you know about 1100 he said so that's really not too bad considering cars Cars are really, really expensive here. Even scooters are a couple thousand dollars. <clears throat> Look at this. This is why you come to Cuba. The food. You come here because of the food. Right, Roy? Of course. This is Roy Hernandez Cruz. You got to say Cruz or his mom will get really mad. All the time. But Roy caught these with his bare hands today. <laughs> he didn't even need a fishing pole. <laughs> and when he works, he always has to have... Royd's always got this with him. See? Mm -hmm. Even when he pitches in baseball, yeah. he hides that in the mound. Sometimes. He hides that where the rosin bag is supposed to be. Sometimes, yeah. Tell me something about it. Um, yeah. Really great. Al, you got anything? What am I missing? Nothing. Oh, bug spray. Bring bug spray. Bring everything you possibly need. And if you have friends and family here, uh, ask, bring them things that you won't believe the things that they might need. Because it's really <laughs> difficult to get things here. I mean, what was it? A shower curtain, Roy? You said is the shower curtain that ripped. It's really hard to find. So, you, you know, if you, if you do have friends or family here, talk to them beforehand. Things we take like in the United States or Canada, we can get them really easy and cheap. Like at garage sales, for instance. I mean, things like that, bike tubes, tires, to uh, just basic tools, like a set of Allen wrenches for bikes or bike pumps, things like that. Um, they have them here, just you, it's really hard to find or they're really expensive. Uh, what else, Roy? What's your favorite thing in Cuba? I don't know. I think diving is one of the most important things that you can do here. The diving, yes. Good. The Garden of the Queen yeah. is one of the best places in the world. We're on the Caribbean, so we've got the Bay. Of, we're in the Bay of Pigs in Playa Hiron, and it's uh, one of the best one in Cuba. Yeah, some of the best, and it's actually some of the cheapest diving in the world. It's probably the cheaper one. There's Roy just talking in the background. Yeah. So you got really cheap diving. Water's it's extremely clean here there's there's hardly any uh, pollution in the water you know you'll have you see some garbage on the beach and stuff but pretty standard because uh, there's nothing to clean it every morning so considering considering that it's really clean the water is perfect uh, perfect blue and green um, we've even found some places you could surf you know if you were really if you were really looking you could surf here um, on the north side, you can surf more, but here, I think in the winter, when the storms roll through, I think uh, there's a few spots we found that we might test out down the road. Um, what else, Roy? Anything? Come on. Huh? I got everything? Yeah, but uh, just remember, you can come here right now, especially as an American. Uh, it's super easy. It's just, I mean, I don't... It was literally the easiest place to visit. Uh, what else? He's got a cockfight up there. The guy's got his his prize chicken. That he's gonna go fight. I'm gonna put some money on it. Um, getting the pool pool's almost ready. So, uh, yeah, bring everything you can. Bring everything you possibly need. Diapers, flip flops. If you break them, you cannot get another good pair. I mean, you're, it's really hard. Um, bring every single thing you need for your kids, even like stitches. I mean, the, our friend had to go to the hospital the other day. She's a local lady. She had a cut in her hand down to the bone from cutting chicken, and uh, she went to the she went to the medic here, and she had uh, uh, she had no stitches. Oh, they were out of stitches. To st yeah, they had nothing. So I mean, I mean, even here, you, you, I mean, it's really that it's there's nothing. So certain places, like they may not have stitches. You, I mean, if you break your arm, you may not be able to get a cast. Uh, especially where we are, you know, we're a little bit more out of 
out of a bigger city. So just keep that in mind. And there are bugs that carry uh, Zika. I don't think malaria is too bad here, but there are some mosquito and, and bug-borne illnesses, and we met some people who get sick. So, you know, if you take pills to keep you safe, like whatever your magic remedy is, do it. But just always drink bottled water. Um, even the locals don't drink the tap water here. They they have a truck come fill it up every morning, their tanks. So, and we still we can't drink the water that goes in their tank. We have to buy the the government bottled water. Um, so yeah, just a few things, and you'll find that the people the people here are quick to help. The English they don't speak English here, so if you speak Spanish, it'll go a long ways. Even if you just speak a little bit. Um, and I don't even think they really speak Spanish. It's more Cuban. It's not Spanish. It's even the like in Spain or Mexico, people who know Cubans, they just say it's another language. So don't be too discouraged if you don't understand what they're saying, or if they don't understand you because they haven't. Uh, you know, a lot of the people here haven't been exposed to people speaking different types of Spanish. So your gringo Spanish might confuse them. You might be saying something perfect, and they'll look at you like you're an idiot. And uh, don't take it personally. Um, just smile and have fun with it because the Cubans are, are they like to have fun. And you will get swindled here. You got to remember you're going to pay more at certain places. Like, for instance, we were going to buy a little pizza pizza down the road. And uh, Royd, this Cuban, paid, I think, just over a kook for it where if we buy it, it's 2.5 kook. Um, so, you know, sometimes if you do have a friend that's local, it'll help you a lot saving some money. Uh, but still, I mean, a pizza for two fifty. Uh, water here is expensive. Hey, Nurki, say hi. This is you, Nurki. Hi. There's nobody on the other end. No. No. I see. Okay. Not yet. So, uh, yeah, you know, bottled water and everything. You're gonna pay. You pay two. You know, two coops for a five, like a four or five liter thing. But you gotta do it. I mean, it's just keep. Keep stocked up on it because it does run out. The government, you, you'll run out of water here. We were out of beer. Gas is running out now. Um, I can't find noodles or soup anywhere, so you have to make it. But the ingredients are really hard to find. So I could. It's interesting, but just take my advice. Bring every single thing you need, but also just pack light because it's hot as hell. <laughs> All right, Lexi, say bye. <laughs>